I am standing in front of the South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center, where we are about to, we're about to enter the South Hall for the Packaging Machinery Manufacturers Institute show called Pack Expo Las Vegas. This is a show about everything having to do with packaging products. It's a big show, so I think I'm only visiting one floor of one building. Let's take a look. Well, the first difficulty at this show is that the up escalator is not working and registration is on the second floor. The robot needs a handler. at Solburn thinking this must be a company from Germany and was told differently this is a New Jersey company and what they do is custom make machinery that will allow um, food manufacturing to become automatic instead of a bunch of people sitting around making egg rolls this machine, how much would this cost? Uh, this, as it sits, is about $150,000. $150,000. But you save the labor on all the folks. And here's a video showing how the machine would work. I'll be darned. And you said the company was how old? Uh, close to 70 years. 70 years old, founded by two brothers who saw a, a company packing pickles and they said we could make a machine to do that and they did and Solberg is here. Very interesting. I stopped here at Interthor to look at this device which to me looked like a forklift and it's way bigger than the ones I have seen in the past. It's worth about $10,000 and it's made in Denmark and Denmark is here at the show. This is James from Color Masters and I stopped at his booth because their signs keep saying flexible uh, film and packaging and I was wondering what that meant and I asked about this. So how would this work? So what would your company make? So our company would make the film uh, we have a blown film extrusion uh, plant that has 20, 20 blown film lines. We would make the film, then we would print it with the customer graphics. Um, and you job. were telling me the graphic has to be Yeah, very right. color specific, right? So when we print something for a customer, the customers have brand specific colors. So when we print it, we make sure the color certification is correct, right? So we measure every one of the colors that's used in this job and then make sure they're to spec. So a Delta E of less than two and a half means that you and I cannot see a difference between two different colors. So as long as your Delta E on those colors shoot in less than a two and a half, the human eye cannot tell a difference. So that makes sure that this package looks the same on every shelf and every, um, Across store, the country, right? yeah. Right. So, so do you package the bottles or what? No, no. We make the film. The customer would blow the bottles, fill the bottles, and then our film would go around and wrap it into a package like this. So he would have a machine that would take your film and wrap mm -hmm. the package. Yes, ma'am. I'll be done. Where is your company located? We are in Huntsville, Alabama. And how old is your company? We've been around for 30 plus years. Are you busier than ever? or oh, very busy. Oh, and, and the gentleman before said this kind of, which I would think is a plastic bag, he said is recyclable. It is, it is. So this is also um, a recycle-ready pouch as well. This is all polyethylene. Uh, typically a pouch like this is made of a polyester or PET, laminated to a PET. This is all PET, uh, polyethylene, so it's recycle-ready. Okay, modern company. Thank you very much, James. Yep, thanks. Packline USA, fill, seal, sell, all in one place. I love the sign. And these are some of their displays. Smalls, uh, material handling, and we've got something here, and whoa, there we go. Much easier to have the machine do it than to have me lift it. 
uh, the gentleman here said maybe one of these lifters, everything included, would be about $15,000. And uh, it seemed to me it would be absolutely necessary. I remember the factory where I worked and folks were lifting by hand. I'm sure they're not doing that anymore. How many pounds will this lift? This specific one will do 50 kg, so about 100, 115 pounds. Okay. Not quite what I weigh, but <laughs> anyway, 115 pounds. Schmalz, S-C-H-M-A-L-Z, from what, North Carolina, right? Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Republic Manufacturing, because I didn't know what make, air, move meant. And um, the young woman here explained to me that they make a number of things. This machine in front of me would um, take the film that you put over the bunch of sodas and suck it so that it fit, right? Fit perfectly. Gosh, there are machines for all kinds of things. And then over here, this display is of a machine that will dry a product before it is packaged, mm -hmm. before it is packaged. Before it's packaged, before it's printed or labeled. Okay. I don't know why it would get wet, but maybe it does. It, you know. And Republic Manufacturing is where? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. I forgot that. Okay. Thank you very much. It's noisy, too. <laughs> at Astro Films because I couldn't imagine what films were used in the packaging business and I was not thinking these young ladies um, are you from Pakistan or from here okay the company's from Pakistan and the film they're talking about is the covering like the, the package here not not Kodak film <laughs> so Anyway, I, uh, I learned a thing or two about the word. ISL Technologies booth, and they have this thing here, and I just asked the gentleman, what is it? So what you're looking at here, this is a cutaway version of these, the bin back behind you here. So what we've done is just taken the top off and taken the sides off so you can see down inside the bin. And so this bin is generally filled with some sort of powders or granules, dry products and uh, it's used to transfer these products around a production facility and uh, the is it a mixer it's not well you can you can add all of your ingredients inside the bin and then we tumble the bin around to mix all of the ingredients together okay um, or some people just use it to transfer or store products uh, you know from their mixer over to their production area so they can stage stage some product and the uh, the discharge station so once you set the bin in the discharge station this device will open and close <laughs> the valve which then discharges the powder or whatever's inside the bin discharge it into like your packaging machine okay okay Let's stainless steel this has got to be fairly yeah, expensive everything stainless steel <laughs> yeah so this where is, uh, where's you your company a, located i'm in college station texas okay and the equipment's manufactured in singapore okay singapore and malaysia so. wow yeah. wow okay big shipping costs <laughs> uh, it's getting better than it than it was a few years ago <laughs> well that's yeah. right that's yeah. right okay thank you very yeah. much You're it's welcome. very interesting this is Automation by J.H. Foster, and the machine is putting pieces in the box, kind of slowly, but uh, doing the job. Right. Uh, this part of the machine, uh, which might fill the box, there would be, you'd move the box down the way to get it sealed. This part of the machine might cost around $200,000 and they make machines for the job you need doing. Otto Motors is here and it looks like they have a bunch of robots. Um, that could move stuff around your factory floor. 
and I guess the guys stand there with the uh, remotes. The most powerful fleet management software. <laughs> Here it comes. Auto. So far, they haven't run into each other, but we'll see. I had to ask about a grip sheet in Shanghai. How do you pronounce it? Xuan Zong? Yes, Zong Zong. Shanghai Zong Zong. Packing Materials Limited. And so you can see that the candy bar does not slip, well, slipped a little, but does not slip on the grip sheet. Darren from Schlatterer S Band, a German company, and when I asked him what this was, he said, what is this? A sausage belt. Louder. A sausage belt. A sausage belt. And so they provide the belts to original equipment manufacturers that make the machine that gets the sausage moving. And then he said this one was... A uh, diaper belt. <laughs> Yes. It moves it moves diapers along. The production line, right. It keeps the diaper flaps open so that it can go through the process. And Stopped at ASAFE, an engineering workplace safety company from York, Pennsylvania. And I was asking, uh, what in the world is this? And he said, well, look at the picture. Instead of a steel fence that would bend as the forklift hit it, this one bends and comes right back here we go right back to its original shape so workplace safety is important to a safe i'm talking to a gentleman here from pennsylvania scale company emory winslow about scales and he can't stop talking about how important scales are in particularly in food manufacturing, right? right? It's, it's very key. Uh, food manufacturing, uh, everything is based off weight, whether you're doing it in a raw form, like oats off the farm, out, out, or corn or anything. So anything that's processed, uh, like meat products, whether it's packaged, goes straight to your grocery store. Uh, everything that you do at the grocery store is packaged right at the deli counter, or if it's already packaged, it comes from us, another source. Everything is done by weight. Everything, practically everything you see in, in a grocery store is packaged by weight. Everything that is shipped from the factory to a wholesaler, distributor, goes to the end user. It's all done by weight. And so uh, having scales is the most important thing. You're a sales representative in yes. Florida. Yeah. Okay, tell me what the prices of scales, it goes from. The uh, price of scales can go anywhere from, say, $100 all the way to $100,000. It just all depends on uh, what the customer needs as far as uh, accuracy, what they're weighing, you know, whether they're weighing a truck or if they're just weighing a, a bottle of uh, oil. I mean, or ketchup, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's How's business? Business is fantastic. Uh, as, as the world keeps growing, uh, we consume more food, uh, we ship more stuff. Because even the companies like FedEx, UPS, Amazon, everybody in those organizations use scales. That's how customers are charged, is by weight. And now it's even gotten to the point where it's not only done by weight, it's actually done dimensionally by the size of the box and how much the weight is. And so companies are looking at how they charge um, to fill space on a truck or even shipping uh, products by air cargo on an aircraft. So. Okay, Kent, I'm going <laughs> to stop you there. You're a good salesman. Right. Thank you very much for well, the explanation. So Absolutely. Enjoy your day. John, he stopped me and asked if I wanted information, and I do. What is it that CLR does? Bozo Recycling does PPE laundry as well as a reusable absorbent. <laughs> you said gloves and gloves, aprons? Gloves, vests, and sleeves. Yep. Okay. So they give them to you, and Correct. you take yep. them we back to... We provide a full-service program, so we'll come out on a set schedule, uh, collect all and consolidate all the PPE and bring it back to launder it. Huh. You, do you have special uh, detergents or... 
Yeah, we have a pretty thorough cleaning process. Mm -hmm. um, you can find most of the details on our website. Okay, closed loop recycling. Yes. I'll be darned. I wouldn't have expected you here, but thank you for talking yeah, to me. Yeah, thank you for your time. This is Corey from Alliance Rubber Company, and I stopped here because my original battery ran out. And I asked him, what is this? And he says, oh, it's a colored rubber band. Now tell me about your company. Uh, we're 100 years old. We just celebrated 100 years this March. And we are the only rubber band manufacturer in America. Uh, we are women-owned. And, um, Where are you located? Hot Springs, Arkansas. Oh, gosh. Okay, I yeah. was raised in St. Louis and fished in Arkansas. Yeah. So, yeah. And we, uh, we ship all over the world. And we make everything from a natural rubber band to a synthetic non-latex rubber band. In case you're allergic to I'll latex. Be, so, I'll be darned. We well, and look at, look at the colors. Yeah. I had no idea that rubber bands came in. Yep. Anything other than the rubber color. Well, you could buy a big bag of them here. Right. And you can collect your dollar bills and put rubber bands around them. That's what I do. Right. Too. We've got some of those actually printed for that over here. Look at big rubber bands. Oh. <laughs> My local bank should have these. Yeah. I'll be darned. Who knew there were so many different kinds of rubber we, bands? We also help the produce business wrapping and identifying their produce. Okay, that would be why you are here at this show. Right. I'll be darned. Who knew? <clears throat> so the women that own this, are they uh, new owners or daughters oh, of... Uh, it's been, she's a second generation. Her dad started it. Okay. Uh, started in Alliance, Ohio, and then they moved to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. And we've been. Uh, How's business? How's business? Business is great. Is it? It's something that everybody needs at one point or another. Yeah. And we we produce and sell about 15 million pounds of rubber bands every year. I'll be darn. Yeah. I'll be darn. Well, that's a great story. Thank you so much. You're very well. This machine is operating from the hallway by Packaging Machinery Solutions. And it occurs to me that a lot of the packaging machinery at this show is complicated. And I guess it has to be to do the job right. I don't know why it reminds me that uh, it's time for me to go home. I can only say that I saw only the second floor of the South Hall and there's much more of this show to see. So in two more years when the show comes back to Las Vegas, I will be here again, God willing. In the meantime, enjoy the show.